3D printing Blender objects is uh, quite simple. First, you need to add some thickness to the model. So let's add a uh, solidify modifier. And then we can look inside to uh, see how thick it becomes. And make sure there's no overlapping. So I'm just going to decrease the thickness slightly. So around 0 0.04 for uh, this elephant. And then you need to apply the modifier. And as you can see, it now has some uh, thickness. Then next, we need to enable an add-on, which is pre-installed into Blender. So uh, go to Edit, and then Preferences, and then just search Print under Add-ons, and then enable the uh, 3D Print Toolbox add-on. And then press N, and here you can see the add-on. And we're going to start off with some checks. And then once we have the checks, we can uh, clean up the model for 3D printing. As you can see, it removed some of the edges and the vertices. And then next, I'm going to add a uh, subdivision surface modifier to increase the number of polygons. This part is, of course, optional especially if you want a uh, small file size. And then I'm going to set the dimensions of the elephant to the real world dimensions that I want. So I'm going to press S to uh, scale it down. And then once you have the scale that you want, you can press Control A and apply the scale. And then we need to select a folder for the export. So I'm going to uh, create a new folder, select that folder, and then accept. And then you can export the model. And once the exporting is done, we can go to the uh, 3D printing software and then open the model that we just exported from Blender. And of course, the printing software is uh, different depending on what printer you have, but I have the uh, Elegoo Mars 2 Pro. And then I'm going to add some support to the model. You can also add some additional support if you want to by just uh, clicking on the places where you want more support. And then we can uh, go into the settings for the print. As you can see, there is my model. And uh, then you can edit the layer height, which is uh, basically the resolution of the print. I'm also going to add some infill to add some structure to the inside of the model. And then I'm going to click slice. And then after a few minutes of uh, slicing, we have the uh, sliced file. And then we can save the uh, file. And I'm just going to save it to the downloads folder and then move it to the USB drive later for the uh, printing. And once the print was done, I had this result. I'm quite happy with the result, especially because I uh, ended up just using one third of the highest resolution. And this is the printer that I used for uh, this tutorial. I'm not affiliated or sponsored by the uh, company. I just got a review copy. It was actually me who reached out to them for a uh, review copy. And I'm very happy with what I got.